We're actually going in with a product by Empty. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. As you can see, your girl has a bunch of makeup on her face, so you already know what it is. It is time for another extreme skincare nighttime routine that you really shouldn't do except for maybe like once a week routine. We have so many different products to try out and I'm actually very excited to get into this routine. So without further ado, the first thing that we're actually going to try out is by Origins. And this is the Checks and Balances Milky Oil Cleanser and Makeup Melter. Look at that. You see the separation? Isn't that super freaking cool? You have like the oils and you have like, I think it's like maybe micellar water or something like that. You have this little mixture right here. You're supposed to like kind of shake it up and then put a little bit on your face, rub it in. It's supposed to melt everything. Then you cleanse after this. <laughs> Don't just use this and then call it a day. You need to cleanse your face again. We're going to go ahead and give this try and as you guys probably already know once i melt this makeup off my face i will be bird boxing to my julep bamboo wipes to wipe it all off got my little wrist wear my headgear time to get this off my face my face needs to breathe okay i'm gonna just kind of mix this up oh it gets like real thick looking <laughs> i guess now i'm just gonna pour a little bit into my hand and then mix it all over my face Oh wow, I really didn't pour that much out. It still looks full. What kind of sorcery was that? It feels really good. It just smells like cooking oil. <laughs> Last, not least, the lips. The makeup is off my face. I feel like I prefer my like melting balms, but the oil wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. And I thought I used way more than that. Bruh, this Joker still looks full. I don't know how, but it just still looks full, even though I poured like a decent amount into my hand. It got most of the makeup off. I still have like stuff on my eyelashes I can sell. So hopefully when I do the next cleanse, all that's gonna be off of my face. Next, we're actually going in with a product by empty bruh i'm holding this up to the light and it looks like this is like completely empty oh maybe okay it's it's clear so maybe it's not empty i i don't know we're gonna figure this out this next item is by tony moly and i actually really like their products this little serum that i've been using is pretty much done so i need to make a purchase I need to make a purchase to give me some Tony Moly. I mean that serum. That serum is that girl. But let's try their cleanser. This cleanser is called the Jelly Cleanser Vital Vita 12. One drop for glow skin. This is just a nice little cleanser. Ooh, okay. It's not empty, I guess, just because it's so clear. You know, the light doesn't really show that there's any product in here, but there is product in here. And that's one thing I really like about Tony Moly is that their samples usually are pretty, pretty good. Okay, you get a decent amount of product. Like I've been using that Marine Cream Serum for a while now. Ooh, this smells good. I don't know what scent that is, but that smells really good. Yeah, I'm still getting like mascara off of my face, which is not good. I like to have like no mascara on my face at this point. And usually I don't, usually I don't have any mascara, but today this is just, just, just on there thick. I put that more so on the cleansing oil not doing its job because even by then I usually don't have eye stuff on my face. I don't want to dry my skin out so I'm not going to cleanse for a third time. Hopefully by the end of the rest of my little things I got to do it'll all be rinsed and washed off of my face because I really do not want to go to sleep with <laughs> mascara still on my lashes. Next we're actually gonna go in with this new reflection, Complexion Perfecting Polish. 
Now I did get this from one of my glossy boxes. This will not be my first time using her. Actually, I've used her several times, but just not on one of my videos. So we're gonna dip into her today. This stuff smells really weird. Like I don't, I don't understand the scent. Uh, it smells weird. It smells like something you would use to make like cement or something, but it works really well and it feels really good on my skin after I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face and then I'm gonna exfoliate. Okay, we're gonna exfoliate, get the crusty and dusty off our face. Doesn't it look like just cement? <laughs> it just looks like cement. Now, I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on this exfoliant because I don't want to destroy my skin, moisture, whatever, the barrier. I don't want to disturb that. Since I'm already exfoliating, I might as well go ahead and exfoliate my lips and we're gonna do this with the Ace Ology. Now I've used this on the channel before, really good stuff. I did empty my other little lip scrub. That is empty, she's gone, out the building, no longer here. So we're gonna go in with the Ace Ology and get these crusty, dusty lips smoothed out. That was way too much. We're exfoliated. Now I'm gonna shove my head into the sink and rinse all this off. Make sure I got no more mask on my face cause you know, y'all don't like to tell folk. My skin feels clean. I absolutely do not want my lips to dry out. While I'm waiting for the last step, I am gonna put a little bit of this Candy Melts Vegan Melting, not melting, vegan lip balm. You know that expired stuff Ipsy gave me? It still works, I'm not mad at her. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my lips just so you know, we don't invite crusties and dusties, okay? You don't wanna invite them. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually a repeat, okay? Okay, we've used her before. And this is the Tri Balm 3-in-1. Cleanse, exfoliate, moisturize. And you can use this as a mask as well. I've used her several times. I like her. Put this on clean skin. I mean, you can use this to like take makeup off too, but I prefer to just like put this on my skin after I've already cleansed. It adds so much moisture and my skin always feels really good after I use this. All right, I think we're covered in balm. I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. Okay, it says about 10 minutes for a hydrating mask and hydrating mask is what we're using it for. So I will be back in 10 minutes and then we're gonna move on to the next step. This has been sitting on my face for much longer than 10 minutes because it's just, it feels good. Okay, it feels moisturized. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my little cloth and cloth, it's a towel. I'm gonna wet my little towel and then wipe this off and we will proceed with the next step. Moving on, the next thing I'm gonna go into is my one and only toner for now, okay? For now, I am gonna get more toners. We're gonna go in with the First Aid Beauty Oil Minimizing Toner with Salicylic Acid. I've been using this pretty much every day and I like it. I like it. This little thing is little. This big old thing is gonna last me for a very long time because I mean, like I said, I've been using it like every day and I haven't even scratched the surface. I haven't even gotten down to the label. I'm just gonna put this in my hands because I'm cheap and I don't have cotton pads. All right, we're toned. Next, I'm actually going to go in with my Be Nice Sunday Riley Niacinamide Serum. Look at how itty bitty this little thing is. It's just like this little itty bitty thing. We did get this in our Macy's box, which is super freaking cool. Macy's really did their thing. So cute and itty bitty. I'm keeping this even when the serum is gone. I'm keeping this. Just so cute. And the last little like sit on your face mask type thing that we're gonna do is actually my black hyaluronic Ike, hyaluronic Ike, <laughs> what are words? Hyaluronic acid bright eyes. This is what it looks like. Bruh, look at all them juices. Okay, this thing is juicy. We got all kinds of juices to put on our eyes. Look at these little jellies, these little jelly jellies. I think this is so adorable. All right, let's go ahead and Ooh, that feels good. It's always gives like a nice 
cooling sensation. I love that. Now, how long does it say this has to sit? Oh, 10 to 15 minutes, okay. So this doesn't have to sit as long as the other ones that we've had. Usually they're like 30 minutes. This one only 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes because I actually like how these feel on my face. And then we'll come back and finish the rest of the routine. It's been uh, enough time, okay? It's been enough time. I'm ready for these to be off my face. Next, we're gonna go in with our tried and true, our Feel Squalene Oil, this little joker right here. Uh, works like a charm. I've been, I've been using her, okay? We made a little, little dent in her. You only need a little bit, so a little goes a very long way with this. My skin feels so smooth. We're actually gonna try another new product, and this is the Pericone MD Firming and Brightening Eye Cream. I got this in my little Macy's, little Macy's box. I'm gonna just put a little bit of a little bit of her under our eyes. It don't take that much. It's just a little, little space under your eyes. Like we go into a football game. Our eyes have been brightened. Next, I'm going in with another new, okay? And I believe this is the last new new. And this is the Tula Skincare. I got this in my FabFit Fun Box. Very cute, absolutely love this packaging. And this is what she looks like. Very buttery, just, just, just straight up butter. <laughs> I like this, I like this a lot. Smells amazing. Has like a sweet, clean scent to it. And then the last two products are tried and true now. My Egyptian Magic All Purpose Cream. Put this right on my lips, okay, right on the crusty dusties. And finally, my favorite, my Cobb Cosmetics Lip Oil in Juicy Malone. This stuff is so good. And we are done, glass skin. Y'all, that was another super extra nighttime skincare routine that you really shouldn't be doing, but I'm gonna do anyway. Because I'm filming. I liked all the products that we tried. I think my hyperpigmentation is starting to like go away. I just need to avoid getting more hyperpigmentation. But my skin is healing, okay? My skin is coming together. We're getting her, we're getting her together, getting her gathered. I like all the products that I used today. There wasn't anything that was like, Ugh. Feeling that. We'll keep trying different skin cares and seeing what we like, what we don't like, what we're gonna purchase more of, and what we're gonna just empty and toss out the door. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.